This is the girls' 10 and under 500 yard freestyle final seat. In lane one, Abigail Berry, South Bay. Lane two, Bailey Weber, Irvine Nova. Lane three, Rami Jones, Santa Clara, Ramey, excuse me. Lane four, your leader from this morning, Taylor Ruck, Scottsdale. Lane five, Simone Cade at Denver. Lane six, Sion Young Youth, Santa Clara. In lane seven, Th Caitlin Thomas, Mesa Aquatics. And in lane eight, Miranda Heckman, Pleasanton Seahawks. Yeah, I think that's fair to say uh, you're going to see big drops here on day three, and it could be for a number of reasons. One, a little bit of fatigue coming in for their third morning of prelim session. Uh, another one is that we've had 200 butterflies and 500 freestyles so far today. So those are two events that it takes a pretty tough swimmer to do two all-out efforts in those events in one day. Um, but again, like you said, if they are too cautious in the morning, they're going to be sitting right here next to us at night with all the coaches and all the other swimmers that didn't make it because it takes a top eight swim to make it back for a final swim here at Far Westerns. That is true. And what a great race we have here going on for the 10 and under ladies at the 100 mark. Getting her hand on the wall first with the 101.7 is Simone Cade in lane number five. And right with her in three and four, that's Ramey Jones in three, Taylor Ruck in four, also out in 102 lows. So these ladies are out pretty close together separating themselves from the field by a couple body lengths lead. Three-way battle here at the 175 mark. Ramey Jones, Taylor Ruck, and Simone Cade all within striking distance up there towards the lead here. It looks like the slight advantage belongs to Taylor Ruck, and she's had a heck of a weekend as she flips at 209.58, just about half a second to a second in front of the other two ladies right around her right below her in lane number three is Ramey Jones and right above them in lane number five is Simone Cade and Taylor was your winner in the 200 freestyle on night number one I believe she also got in there for second in the 100 freestyle last night or somewhere right al along the lead right in there she's had some other IM events in the mix oh and um, she's definitely on a full lineup these ladies at the halfway mark, I believe the flip is going to go just slightly to it Taylor was Ra Ruck with a 243-4. Yeah, it was Taylor, but not by much as uh, Ramey Jones has now started to move up on Taylor Ruck. And let's see who's got a better back half as these ladies have transitioned into the back half of this 500 freestyle. Ruck still looking in control as they get set to flip in just a little bit here at the 300 mark. But Ramey Jones still within striking distance. And this is definitely a long race for these little 10 and under swimmers. Once again, got to consider the age range. I know I wasn't doing 500 freestyles when I was 10 and under. So very impressive for the for these ladies here at Far Westerns. It's got to help these two as well to have somebody next to them pushing them the whole way. It's tough to gauge how well you're doing or how fast you're going. But with Ramey Jones and Taylor Ruck, they can push each other, which has got to be a benefit for these two young up-and-coming superstars. If you look at the difference in strokes, Taylor Ruck taking a little bit more of an aggressive tempo, taking a few more strokes per 25 than Ramey Jones. And if you had to pick, I'd say that that will benefit Ramey here on the back half. But... Jones needs to make her move soon because Taylor Ruck doesn't like to give up the lead and she hasn't given it up once yet here tonight in the 500. Definitely, and I'd like to see the height comparison between these girls because I might that might explain the short stroke versus the longer stroke because it looks like Ramey might be actually a little bit taller so she's going to have a little bit of a longer stroke. But that's just from the blind eye. Ramey looking like she is taking over the lead there with 100 yards left to go. 425-5 for Ramey, 425-6 for Taylor. So these girls still neck and neck, 100 yards left to go for the 500 freestyle. What Looks a great like race. They're both going to have pretty significant drops from their morning swim, but this back and forth type battle is going to make it even better. As Ramey Jones took the lead there going into the 400, now Taylor Ruck has rallied back to pull even with Jones as they're getting set to flip for the final 50. 
too close to call. We'll have to go to the board to figure out who's got the advantage. It does belong to Taylor Ruck, but just by two tenths of a second in front of Ramey Jones. And these girls, shoulder to shoulder, Ramey now maybe taking a little bit of the lead back as she scoots over to the far lane line as to not give Taylor Ruck any kind of advantage. Or maybe just because it's a habit of circle swimming. Actually, it's Ramey Jones circle swimming here, but it might still be enough to get the win. Wow, they are still neck and neck. We will see who has the quick touch. It goes to Ramey Jones getting in there. Looked like Taylor Ruck might have had the advantage coming under the flags, but Jones keeping her head down and getting her hand on the wall first with a 530.14. Great swim there for Ramey. Touching second, Taylor Ruck with a 530 as well, 530.33. And with a third place finish in lane number five is Simone Cade with a 541.17. What a battle. It's one thing to swim neck and neck in a race, but another for a 500. That is a long time to be going back and forth with the leadership exchange. Both of those girls dropping over 13 seconds from their prelim swim. <laughs> 